never hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo jumbo. <laughs> it's going to be dark in a few seconds. <laughs> Absolutely. People who don't like my laughter, please move. Move. <laughs> There's so many people who are serious with life, who don't even make jokes, who will make you happy because they will not be laughing in their spaces. But before we even begin, guys, Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Are you ask you? I don't think so. Okay, let me fix you guys. New subscribers, hello. How have you been? Thank you so much for joining this amazing, wonderful family right here on On Training and of course my returning subscribers as always. Thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice that you do to me on this specific channel. I most definitely do not take you for granted even one bit. I hope everybody is safe. Everyone is doing well. Anybody in Kenya, please keep safe during this point in life where we are fighting for our rights. Keep safe and my condolences, I think I'll be saying this in every video until we are done with this hashtag reject finance bill 2024. So if you lost your family, your loved ones, your friends, I want to remember you in my prayers every single day. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are here to be talking about who? Guess what? <laughs> the soon to turn 34 year old new dad to be. <laughs> and he came out with a live yesterday and he spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke and spoke. And I'm like, give it to me. Give it to me, Senso. Give it to me because we are here for it. I'm here for the reaction. In fact, I've not reacted in quite a while. And I just bam bounce into a live and I'm like yo this is a lot of information I can do videos that will last me one week <laughs> just from this live that he did yesterday so he decides to drop a live and he says oh I hope it's going to be one hour then it went and stretched to almost two hours it was long and I was like oh my god more information for the reactors no problem you know they'll come out here and say oh don't talk about us oh in fact now he said if you talk about him and his family especially when the child comes <laughs> a lawsuit is going to fall on your head I'm waiting for it you know why guys because I want this guy, well, he was in the Amazon just walking around looking for leopards being dramatic in that Amazon forest and looking for snakes and sticks and, you know, creating a whole scenario. <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've seen in a long time last year. <laughs> and I told him, before you sit down and start talking about reactors children, because you know that is where you're going to get into their hearts, like really punch them on their chests. Or is it below the belt? Before you decide to pick someone's minor and you're touching, bringing a topic about them. How many times has he said he wishes the reactor's children sickness? How many times has he said he wishes the reactor's cancer? And I told you, unless you have children, zip it. You do not understand. So now you're overprotecting yours. Who's yet to come because, oh, now you feel the need to protect your family while you are attacking and sending stupid sicknesses, cursing the reactors, throwing sicknesses on their head and their children. Now you want to protect yours. We'll wait and see. Okay. So should I decide not to talk about Marwa and his family <laughs> that is soon to become a family of three or I don't know how many. So should I decide to keep quiet? Should I decide to just, you know, chill and not say anything? We've got people we call keyboard reactors because he came to say anybody talking about my family, these reactors. So it's all on the reactors' heads because we're out here speaking about issues on the street, disagreeing with what we don't like. Simple. Anybody called a keyboard reactor? <laughs> are they also going to be sued? <laughs> what are you going to be doing? Because, I mean, <laughs> you, if you bring your children on the screen, people are going to talk, keyboard reactors, reactors, anybody. They are going to talk about issues they don't like or whatever they like. So, who's going to get the lawsuit? 
I guess only the reactants. So he sent a threat out there and gave a disclaimer. If you talk about my child, if you talk about my family, now I'm here to protect. Yes, please let the child come and feel that need to protect your family because you've not been protecting other people's families. <laughs> and now you'll feel the pain of people talking about your child in a way that you don't appreciate. But again, you have the choice to either bring your child on social media or not to bring your child on social media, but we know that the child will be on social media. Hello, Donatus. Are we together? <laughs> it is what it is. Let us start with the first receipts of the day let's hear what he said before we jump into the next issue because there's a lot in fact today i just want to dedicate this live or oh, this premiere and <laughs> this video to mura senso he says he's 33 and he's done a lot of things because someone told him oh you look so old and he says yes i've done so so many things at times i think i've worked so hard and done so so much in my age <laughs> mura senso's dad said mura senso is 37 38 <laughs> <laughs> so it's so sad about Vinny and Lenny. I don't want to talk about them. And the thing is, uh, initially I thought it is a joke. Like uh, maybe it's just a joke. But I think I'll call. I'll call my brother to know what happened. But that does not mean I'll. I'll tell you what happened. No, those are grown. Grown people and they know what they want in their lives but all i know is this interracial relationship really tough guys they, they could be really tough because sometimes we have cultural differences and also i tend to think also from the families each 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 of us families sometimes they would prefer you dating your own in this case for example if i'm kenyan i date or if i'm black i date black if i'm white i date white so sometimes that that can bring a lot of issues guys and um, and again sometimes we get so much attacked from even social media and they will always try to find a reason why you guys should fight uh, but at the same time one thing i always tell for myself i tell rocio is uh, let's have a relationship between me and her not me and my mom and her or me, her friends, and her, or me and my boys and her, no. Let's have a relationship which is between me and her. Because sometimes when people, other people outside, even your own family members, they start putting some small pressure that, huh, they will tell you, eh, if it was like, di -di 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 -di, this would be, di -di 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 yes, little, 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 then after some time, it adds up until you feel, ah, you know, you, you know, that's why sometimes people are just happy to break you down, to say things. Like me, I've promised myself, anyone after my kid is born, anyone who will be coming after my family on social media, it will be a lawsuit. That one I've said, I've said, and I will still repeat. Once I have my kid born, anyone coming after my family, like trying to destroy and, 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 reacting and saying this it will be a lawsuit no matter where you are it will be a lawsuit that one i have promised myself because i'm always a soft-spoken guy i don't like chasing people or ch like, like let's meet in court i'm not that type of guy sometimes i watch videos and say these guys are just hungry they are looking for money through my name but i think there are some red lines that you shouldn't cross respect my family respect families families is important it cuts across the globe <laughs> especially when you have a minor you will not understand forget about over 18s who put their lives on the street by themselves when you have young children that you feel the need to protect you will feel the pain you will feel the pain you wished me cancer. You wished my child sickness. And the money that I make off this social media, I'm going to be spending it all on my child in the hospital. Oh, now you're feeling some type of way. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. So he spoke about Vin and Len. 
Vin and Lenny, and of course, because there were people there asking, have you heard about Vin and Lenny? It's sad. Please talk to them. We hope they get back together. And he's like, oh, you know, we didn't even realize what was going on because me and Rocio just found out the other day that they broke up. So he's saying that he will try call them. He'll reach out, but he'll not tell us the Tingo. But I'm thinking the Tingo has been on the street for almost two weeks <laughs> until when there was speculation from this side and this side, until when Lenny came out to say that, you know, what is a wrap. This is what happened. And also Vin also came out to express himself. I'm like, what is new? They've already poured out their hearts on the street. They've said what it was. If they come back together or not come back together, it's entirely up to them. But he said he's going to be reaching out and he talked something about interracial marriages where he came out to say that, you know, even at times family is on your head. Then put some pressure on your head because of these interracial relationships where they feel like you should have gotten married to your own Korean girl. Those ones who take river baths. <laughs> One of those could have been Mara's wife because when Rocio is here, she feels like she's a minority and she's a target. And he said there's always a lot of pressure, especially on interracial marriages. What I disagreed is he's saying that people, also the outside forces, always want to make them separate. No. I disagree because I've been here a million times to say a relationship between me, I've dated a white guy in case you don't know until he started spitting around Nairobi and saying this place is nasty and I was like yo, <laughs> bounce, <laughs> you will not be spitting in my country and talking bad about my country people, appreciate my culture, I appreciate your culture, I may not like what you, you do in your own culture. You might not like that, for example, was your mom sat with, you remember when they had a sit down with Congrats Ma and Marwa and the, all these discussions about polygamy that she was against. We are coming <laughs> to that issue. <laughs> polygamy that she didn't like and she's being told, oh, a son, a male child, a boy child is more important than a female one because there's a lot a lot of respect when it comes when you give birth to a boy child. I've seen a lot of people tell Mura Senso, stop it. Mura Senso is talking about, oh, you know, a boy child will inherit and will run the empire the way. Even a girl child, we've said it a million times, don't look at that, even a girl child. So what if Mura Senso, you cannot father a son? <laughs> because they always say, oh, you know, my wife has refused to give me a son. I'm like, oh my God, here we go again with the Lulu people. If you don't understand the tingle, you don't understand the tingle. So, Mura Senso, in case you don't give Rocio mom a boy child, what really happens? Because this issue of a boy child, boy child, boy child, I'm personally tired over it. So, anyways, there were a lot of things discussed on that table back then. And it was culture shock to Rocio mom when she's being told about circumcision. She's like, what? Circumcision and so on and so forth. And here we like Ugali 24-7. And I'm like, yo, you've not given this lady an opportunity. Because she said, from where I come from, according to our culture. <laughs> and I remember there's something she put across. And uh, Congrats mom was like, ah? So what does your culture say? In a way to mean that, yo, this one is ours. We are not really willing to accept or just, you know, embrace where you're coming from. I've said a million times, if I decide to get married to a white guy, for example, hey, I'm married. <laughs> for example, if I decide to get married to a white guy, then I have to put in mind his culture. And of course, I expect him to put in mind my culture and we meet in the middle. Simple. It will not be, oh, oh, Korea, 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 Korea. I'm waiting to see when this guy, Senso, goes to Argentina. I want to see how he's going now to, you know, embrace Rocio Mam's culture and what they believe in. The food specifically because Rocio Mam said, eh, there's no girl in Argentina. Nope. <laughs> You're going to eat what we eat over there. So I'm waiting to see how he's really going to embrace it because, I mean, let us give a 50-50, especially if it's, if it's between people who are in a relationship. Maybe I've not made sense. I hope I have. Now, there were very many questions on that live. <laughs> questions about proposing. When are you going to propose? And Maro Senso will come here and say, you know what? 
I have really never thought of proposing and I'm like, oh my god. Rosio mom has been here a million times to say that. First we start with proposal. <laughs> Then we go to meet the parents. Then now we do a wedding. And then we get a child. So we started this thing backwards. And if you remember, guys, if you have been here or on Reactors channels, mostly following us from a while, watching Mura Senso back in the day, if you used to, anyways, you know that even during that sit-down that they had, the three of them, Rocio, Congrats, Mar Mara, Mara was being asked, which is important to you, marriage or children? He jumped in and said children because even from way back then, Senso has always come across to say that, you know what, I, <laughs> I honestly just want children. <laughs> he's wanted children, he's wanted polygamy, <laughs> he's wanted all these things that really do not make sense to Rocio Mom, especially because he, uh, she came out to express herself and say that no to polygamy i'm here if you want 10 children like mura senso wants we can work around that and we're like excuse me so you're going to give birth from now 2024 until probably 2034 let me just be silly and think like every year she'll be dropping a child so that we have a child we have 10 children in total what marwa has wanted so there's been an ultimatum in this relationship because marwa senso comes to say that uh you know <laughs> we are not married but we are girlfriend boyfriend girlfriend in um what did he say do I remember what he said? Let me play the clip and then we come back, get shocked because I'm like, yo, there's an ultimatum and uh, he's talking. Let me remember what he said. Uh, yes, we are boyfriend and girlfriend in an advanced level. I was like, what advanced level? What sort of relationship is boyfriend, girlfriend in advanced level? <laughs> Let's play the receipts. <laughs> Those who don't like me laughing, please pause. Anytime you see me, go wide you know and i want to laugh pause and then you come back because hey you cannot give me ultimatums as well in my channel if you want to laugh i'm going to laugh let's listen to the ultimatums and then we come back and proceed because it is what it is <laughs> idealist ideally said if i abandon them Uh, be honest you know like rocio knows i've always uh wanted to date more than uh, like not date but marry more than one wife but now since she came we've negotiated we agreed if we have more kids then there's no meaning of me getting an extra wife but at least she knew that from the start it's not like something she will come in the middle then after we are in the middle of a relationship then i shock her oh i'm like this no that is not being fair to other people just just be honest you know, in Kenya we say mate machungu. You know mate machungu. Mate machungu. Mate is saliva. Machungu is 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 bitter. You know when you, you swallow bitter saliva, you're like, like, hey, you know, you know, you should propose, give her a ring. The wedding can come sooner or later. Okay, guys. As you know, I swear before God, nothing like proposing has ever crossed my mind. Me, I live with Rocio. I'm very happy. Sometimes I feel like proposing is just like a way of just trying to show the world. But personally, I always find Rocio as an amazing person. And I've always seen her as a good partner. So we also have our own challenges, guys. We also have our own challenges. You know, every relationship, me, I always tell Rocio that as long as you are alive there will always be challenges in life and even if you look at me and say i'm the evil i am the bad guy i'm the best guy or i am so bad or anything is at least for myself i give myself a room of improvement like okay i could be a very bad guy i could be a very good guy but i still give myself room of improvement you know yes yeah so sorry for the breakup of our brother and sister and they were at our place we hosted them 
and now think of this they were actually married married for us even it's it's like it's like boyfriend girlfriend in advanced level for them it's it's wife and husband and now you have to see how things happen i will pray for them and i wish that they can go back to each other i wish i wish you know i wish but all i know is sometimes it's very hard for interracial relationships especially in a place where uh, the white are minority because sometimes they feel like like rocio and rocio has lost her phone maybe she may think she's targeted maybe she may feel like okay maybe this place is not safe for me to stay nothing like proposing has ever crossed my mind <laughs> Proposing is just a way of showing the world. It's like a show off. That is how I understood it. And I was like, no, we don't even need to know. We don't need to see. <laughs> you know, I think Mara is afraid of the expenses that are going to be incurred because we know spending his own money is always a problem. <laughs> sue me if you want to sue me. <laughs> and when all these things just, he said these things and I was like, OMG, here we go again. Please, Mara said, so no, bring these things not not on my screen because I'm going to be talking about them. So now he's talking about it has never crossed his mind to propose. Proposing is showing the world. No, you can propose behind the cameras. You don't have to show us. It doesn't have to be public. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. So when you've been calling this woman wife, 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 all of a sudden someone was like, but I thought you guys used to call yourself wife, husband. Why is it that now you're talking about proposing? Are you not married? Of course, guys, they're not married. They're boyfriend and girlfriend in an advanced level. I was like, yo, that is also something. Ro is an amazing partner, blah, 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 blah. You know, when I met her, yeah, yara, 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 <laughs> and so on and so forth. He said many things, but in the back, in the back, back of my mind, I was like, yo, if you don't know Mura Senso by now, there's never going to be a wedding because he doesn't want to wed. He's come out to say that he does not want to share his wealth with his wives. His wealth is or belongs to him and his children simple if you think i'm lying you can go back find the receipts hey we've talked about this issue a million times <laughs> it is what it is so when we are coming here to talk about the issue of this ultimatum that was brought out i was like wow so now there's an ultimatum if you don't want me to marry he said they discussed this with rocio in the initial stages now they've come to a consensus if you don't want me to marry another wife if you don't want me to be polygamous then you have to give me many children and i'm like what is many children 10 kids <laughs> because i was like yo <laughs> so anyways he says they've had this discussion with rosio mom they've agreed they've agreed that you know if you don't want me to go out and get another wife you give me many children so mura senso you're willing to wait for 10 solid years to get your 10 children with rosio mom for example let's give it 10 to 15 years or maybe 10 to 20 years to be getting your last born from Rocio mom but i like the audience because the same question i had in mind this person did ask let us listen to the question we come discuss move into the next point there's a lot that was said guys maybe we'll touch on everything maybe not it depends but let's see the receipts do we have this consensus are we on the same page what exactly was mura senso's question when this person asked this question and then we come back of course guys we continue if ro can only have one child will you look for another wife to have more kids okay rocio answer that no it's not my my duty to answer such question why rocio because the question is for you it's for you. Okay, Rocio is willing to have more kids, guys. To be honest, this thing also crossed my mind because I was like, so what if? What if is the question before you come to, oh, 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 who told you? There's a time I said, 
I had to visit the doctor every month just to ensure that my child is well, you know, <laughs> well positioned in the womb because at times they move, at times they will wrap themselves with the umbilical cord. I mean, all that you'll know if you go for an ultrasound. And someone is like, oh, who told you she didn't go? Relax. You guys don't listen. She said she was told it's not important to go to the hospital. She can do it once every month. And this is my own opinion. This is what I'm saying. This is what happened to me. Maybe others have got high risk pregnancies. Mine was okay. And didn't have, you know, had to go to the doctor every two weeks. What is the problem? <laughs> you, if you didn't go until you delivered, that's your own problem. This is my own problem. I'm trying to compare what happened to me or what I went through my experience with what was your mom is. Stop it. If you've got issues to say, take it to your own YouTube space. You've got it. <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> so the only question that also crossed my mind was that. So what if she is not or might not what if is the question to get she might not be able or in a position to get another child and our rocio dad now is trying to play the cards because he understands what the question is but he'll pretend that he's not understood what the question is so now he's asking rocio mom <laughs> uh, please answer that and rocio mom is like no it's your question. You answer it because Rocio mom also, I think, also wants to know and wants an assurance. She wants this to be cemented. She wants to listen to what Mura Senso is saying. It's been a while since I called him Rocio dad. She wants to know what he will say, especially to the world, because, you know, when you talk to me and when you talk to the world, <laughs> I want to see where the tingo is because yeah, you could be telling the tingo to the other different people outside, but with me, you're giving me a different vibe. So Rosuma was like, no, you go ahead and answer. Ro is willing to give me more kids. That is what he said. So according to me, if she doesn't, he will go ahead and get another wife and get more children with multiple women because that is their own agreement so in whatever sense or how you want to process this there will be polygamy if at all was your mom does not want to give him more children how many children has he said on the street guys 10 i don't know if that is still what he wants to get and if Rosio mom is able to push out 10 children then it's all gonna be well if not hello Wife number two, number three, number four, because I'm also thinking <laughs> the patience <laughs> to get to your 10th child. And in your head, you've always thought of, oh, three women, three, three, three children, and another one, four children, total 10 kids. Anyways, you can leave your comments down below. I don't know what you feel. I don't know what you think. One thing I've picked is when Rocio dad is put at a corner and Rocio mom is there he'll want to throw questions to her and that is not the only question that he threw to her there was also another question again because someone did ask when are you getting when are you guys when are you guys going to get married <laughs> when is your wedding and I'm like yo people have been drumming this marriage proposal thing for so long and it looks like Rocio mom has come out to say that she's waiting she really wants to but Rocio dad does not want to because of the reasons we've talked about he doesn't want to tie himself down he doesn't want to share his wealth no ties with the mothers of his children if i may put it like that let's listen to what the question what was what the answer was and then guys we come back maybe close <laughs> it's becoming dark too <laughs> thank you so much for watching please like if you haven't liked the video and subscribe in case you haven't when is your wedding? Rosio, you answer that. I don't know. You should answer that. Like, have you ever actually thought of a wedding? No, because look at my hands. There's no proposal. Guys, so you know, I don't even know how to propose. I did. Because I've never proposed. <laughs> I've never proposed in my life. And I never got married, so I don't I mean, even know how to plan anything. Okay. So. Okay, wedding, guys. So proposal first. Okay. Villa Medellin Queen wants Emerada from Colombia. Dios mío, ayúdame. Dios mío, ayúdame. I've said, oh my God, help me. 
Uh, let me see. Okay, guys. Tomorrow, I will go to look for Esmeralda in YouTube <laughs> in the river. So stay tuned. Hey, hey. Yeah, okay. I will have to go to Tanzania to look for uh, Tanzania. Tanzanite. Tanzanite. No, to Zambia for Emerald. Zambia? Yes. We just came from there. You should have told from me. From Esmeralda. I, I speak, but God Matata sometimes doesn't listen. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want Esmera? Esmera. I will have to start looking for Esmera in, Esmera. in Nairobi. Guys, if you sell Esmera, I'm not a fake one. <laughs> Please write my email. <laughs> write my email, guys. I don't even know where I will propose. The, gold. the, the ring must be gold. Gold? Of course, yes. Oh, no, Rocio. Nothing like, no, like, Rocio. like like copper <laughs> now rocio you want me to go to congo and not come back <laughs> because that's where the real gold is found Maro says he doesn't know how to propose the other time he said nothing like proposing has ever come to his mind and now he's talking about rocio mom answer that and rocio mom is like i can't answer that for you either mura senso as guys as you can see i'm not there's no ring on my finger <laughs> no ring on my finger there's no proposal so it is what it is so before it, it becomes too dark rosio mom is showing us her fingers and she says there's no proposal yet <laughs> when are you going to get married when are you going to propose propose before the baby is here as a christian it's good to get married before the child is brought in and so on and so forth there are very many things that people who will not get a lawsuit <laughs> as keyboard reactors have said <laughs> but because i say and i have a platform to expose myself now i'm going to be getting a lawsuit so those were the discussions and then we jumped into another discussion that i was like yo hey mora senso you can discuss this behind the cameras now there was another issue of rosio mom saying the ring she's always wanted and Mara is like, you never told me that. And she says, I say it. Mara, you just don't listen, God Matata. You don't listen. Esmeralda is what I've wanted. Is the rock that you should be putting on Rocio mom's finger. But Mara is like, yo, can I go to River YouTube <laughs> and collect rocks? Because I've seen rocks there. Oh my God. No, no, no. In my Yugnos compound. <gasps> There are so many rocks, Rocio. What if we go there and I'm like, oh my God. Mara, no. Mara, you cannot be cheap like this. You cannot be cheap like this. So because Rocio mom wants a ring and she wants the Esmeralda because it's been the rock of her dreams. <laughs> I don't know if that is right. <laughs> now Mara said so feels like, OMG, they looked at the prices and they, there were some that were really affordable. And Rocio Mom is trying to explain to him why they are cheaper. And then there was one that was 12,000 USD and he's like, oh, Rocio Mom, this is 12,000 USD. And I'm like, what is the shock? Boss, I mean, this is the mother to your children. What more if you guys have agreed to live together and give each other very many children? what is the problem in you just buying a rock a ring worth twelve thousand usd <laughs> so said so came out with this plan and he said i'm going to be looking for these rocks i'll go to river youtube tomorrow after our seats get here so their seats are getting in today <clears throat> I can't wait to see how the that transforms their living room i mean finally eventually let me I have many things to do, Rocio Mom. Oh my God. I've got a kitchen to fix. We've got this to do. We've got a pool. He said he'll be sending the lady to SA, but he'll just be giving her 50,000 Kenya shillings uh, so that she can do a top up and then take herself to South Africa because, hello, <laughs> it is what it is. No one wanted to open him a go for me for this lady and so on and so forth. So he's still crying on the street. If you want to support, you can support. And very many cries, guys. If you've got a rock, if you've got a gold tester or a diamond tester, and if you're in America, please send it for me. If you know you can purchase this tester for yourself, Rocio Dad, Mura Senso, make an order online. It will be shipped to you. Stop begging. Oh my God, just stop this begging. It's too much. So, 
there's been a fight here until we landed where now the issue was you know rosio ma'am we've collected drugs oh my god this rock looks like that rock that we collected i don't know where then they go bring this small box that has got these rocks that Mara has been collecting saying that oh i think this is gold this must have this is gold guys oh my god maybe my land is sitting on gold what if blah 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 and they start now looking at this gold looking at how to test diamond draw a black sack it was like a full circus that last one hour i don't know if i'm going to bring you those receipts but let me see what i can bring you because they say oh deformation oh this is not what they said because what i watched on my screen is different from what you watched on your screen <laughs> i hope the people who don't want me to love just post themselves because it is what it is receipts guys and then we come back and close the rest we can talk about another day hey there was a lot that was said <laughs> ah this stone i've seen them on the road <laughs> i swear before god oh, they look like that that's naturally yes. my yuguno has these right. stones according to you my yuguno has another one that we saw so i swear guys tomorrow i'm visiting my yuguno to see esmarat my yuguno has these stones hey 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 rocio hey esmeralda esmeralda green yeah, would yeah. look beautiful on, on your hand rocio yes you see listen to the people listen to the people <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. esmeralda esmeralda how do you call esmeralda in english esmeral emerald 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 green emerald it's not clear but diamond so wait it's like diamond again i don't understand green emerald diamond oh look how much they are selling it it's not so bad 1600 usd you see i'm not even the most expensive but look this one is 12000 rosio it depends because that will depend you know the type of emerald the type of ring that you're using if it's silver or it's gold silver i don't how is this silver. so cheap because probably what is this 4000 kenyan shillings yeah but it's two carats and i think it's um silver silver is all is always cheaper than gold yeah, in because... my case i don't wear i don't like silver i want the the golden color you see <laughs> hey rocio this one you are having is esmeralda also because no. now i'm confused no this, no this is this is called um oh yeah i forgot i forgot Oi. This I think one is blue. Blue. This one is blue. And this is not gold. But also if you are a dealer and you know Esmeralda where I can get one, just tell me. Just tell me. Maybe we can we can strike a deal. Now I have too many things to do. I need to fix the kitchen. I need to fix this. I need to buy Esmeralda. I need to send uh, our sister to South Africa. Hey guys. You better be a good, a good boy. Ha ha ha. Hey, you guys will finish me. So do you think that Mura Senso is one going to spend money in purchasing an Esmeralda? Esmeralda. <laughs> Ring for us, your mom. Please leave your comments down below. Do you think it's down for marriage proposals, all these things to make their union <laughs> solid? like register their own union are they going to get married sign documents make it official before even this baby comes do you feel in your heart guys that he is going to do that because he's been escaping these questions every single time even though rosio mom really wants us to go towards that direction but remember his fears his fears is what happens you know interracial relationships like he said are tough what do you think? <laughs> do you think Rosio Mom is going to be here until baby number 10? If that is their own agreement, I'd love to know. Please, guys, leave your comments down below. As always, agree or disagree. Here, we don't fight. You just say, this is what happened to me. This is what I think. Here, you say it wrong. Like, there's a mistake I made. I said, 
Dimwango was in Maseno. No, she was in Moy University. I apologize. I withdraw that statement. She was in Moy University and one of you corrected me and was like, oh my God, it's true. She was in Moy, not Maseno. So there's something interesting going down. And this is from Jump Tours. He did, a, he's, he's up, actually supposed to be going on in the next two hours. Wow. He's supposed to premiere in the next two hours. And he says, breaking news, finally got my refund from Dim Wango, lawfully a victory story part one. And I was like, yo, what's the tingle? What's the tingle? And he did something, <clears throat> he did write something on his community that I want us to be reading because I'm like, yo, I'm waiting for this information because we've been called defamers, <laughs> deformators. <laughs> <laughs> and voila guys we said i really hope this is the video the video is that he's been paid his money back because it's been a long time coming and people have been on jump to his neck 24 7 it's becoming dark asking this guy when are you going to be a man about it go to the court <laughs> report dim wango other than coming and calling her a scammer on the street and he said you know what i've been patient it's been years of me crying telling them let us talk about this like you know grown-ups and they refuse to honor that but besides all this call him name say that oh there's a guy who also wanted to scam my sister with little money like this seven thousand little money this is what he said on his community. This day I can't explain. And I told you guys, justice will prevail as long as it takes. Oh my God. I didn't even know it was going to be this soon because Kenyan courts have proved that, you know, <laughs> you can go in and get out and have your win eventually, finally. This day I can't explain the joy I have in me for the long fight has come to an end. It's a fight if justice for my hard and efforts. I finally got everything she owed me through the Kenyan courts. I can't mention names because I don't want to leave out anyone. I just want to thank everyone who believed in me and stood by me through that time. Your prayers and kind words didn't go to waste because Jump to Us is a happy man. And yes, we emerged victorious. Hey! <laughs> I can't wait for this video, guys. <laughs> I know by the time you're watching my video, it's already premiered and I'm like, OMG. Eventually, finally, and of course, he tagged M. Caro on trending Black Beauty, Coco Mama, Cleo Bonnie, King of Travel, Niger Daughter, Ella Sweetable, Gist. I'm waiting for that video, guys. I'm waiting for that video. <laughs> and it's just, this is part one. So there's going to be a jump to a flicks. <laughs> That's what I want me to love. <laughs> Switch off. <laughs> Mute it. Oh my God. It's been a long time coming. I'm waiting for the juice. I'm waiting for the receipts. And of course, guys, you know, we react with the receipts. We'll be here to talk about the issue. Of course, part one. Hey, I can't wait tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you're not subscribed and would love to subscribe, always know that you're free to do so. And I on training will most definitely catch you on my next video like this. If you haven't, turn on your post notification so that you don't miss out on my next upload, my next reaction. Most definitely, guys, tomorrow. Bye-bye.